So the final showdown after two long days, four events. Robin to Women's throw for Series the darts in 2023, the first four outside of 24 in the expanded tour this year, and it's still Bo Greaves, the dominant Bo's force. Wonderful. Although her dominance was temporarily ended when Makuru Suzuki beat her in the previous event, going on to win that one. But Greaves bounced back by a semi final success over Suzuki, though she did survive match darts in it. And now looking to make it 11 wins from 12 events. Standing in her way is a 43. finalist of last year, Robin Byrne of Ireland, who has made great progress after a stuttering start to the weekend. She ends 60 in the big match. Guaranteed £1,000 in her pocket as well. Whatever happens. 95. But knowing that up against a player who's won 10 out of the last 11 of these Women's Series events. 40. Must have to enter this as perhaps a free swing. Something about a game of darts featuring 100. Robin, bow and arrow. I suppose that makes us the merry men in the commentary <laughs> box. 44. Well, a couple of lacklustre visits from 90 Reeves. 60, a 40, a 44. Has got Robin burned down to a finish of 164. But normal service is about to be resumed, it seems. Well, Byrne has already upset the odds in this run. 100. Notably beating Lisa Ashton in the last 16. It's all Bo Greaves on 120 in the semi final against Suzuki. Attempt 20 bull bull because the first dart blocked the bed. Does that one block it? She's I, thinking I think about she's it. She's thinking about it again, yes. Seeing what Robin Byrne has got, she's, she's moved across and finds the gap. 100. Doesn't get the double at the end of it, though. Burn with a chance, but needs a trouble to start it. Can she rest one on top? No. Well, maybe Bull would have been a better route for her in the end, but as it is, Greaves gets a go at double ten. And Game usually, shot. that is the outcome. Bo Greaves holds throwing leg one. 100. Ten hours of play here in this women's series event. Sixty. Here in Leicester on the second day. Bo Greaves taking two out of the three events here this weekend. Makuta Suzuki earlier today. Yeah, and still to this point of only beating each other. Nobody 84. else has got close. Good stuff from Robin Byrne, though, in this second leg. A ton and a ton 40. 40. A couple of wayward ones there, though. And he sends for Robin to have any sort of chance over nine legs against Bo Greaves here. Greaves has to lower herself to around 60. the 80 mark, and Robin Byrne's got to raise her game to that level to have any sort of chance. Yeah, and Bo Greaves' worst average in this 80. tournament has been 86.97. The best has been 107.36, the second highest we've ever seen on the Women's Series to date. 140. The scored in prowess of Bo Greaves. It's always a danger. And now Robin Byrne under pressure on 141, shake of the head. She'll do well to get into 24. double figures here, and that doesn't happen. And now the door is open for Greaves to a pressure on here to try and get this into double figures. 43. So 117. She's going to have to take these kind of chances. That is going to be the case. She can't after the first dart. 39. But if not, getting down to a double. That's the important part of the game here. Treble 18, double top. And that's 2 0. Maybe starting to appear like the mismatch that it should be on paper. Just to put into context how big a mismatch this final could be, Robin Byrne's highest average in this event is nine points worse 100. than Bo Greaves' lowest average. 
in her route to the final. Forty-three. This is no disrespect to Robin Byrne whatsoever. No, but we're we're saying that the level that Bo Greaves has got herself at in this game. Fifty-seven. As I before in the previous leg to have any sort of chance, Greaves has got to be hovering around the eighty mark, and Robin Byrne needs to get to that mark. Right now, Bo Greaves is at that eighty mark, seventy-nine 60. after two legs, but Robin Byrne's at seventy-two. One hundred and forty. As we perhaps even approach the middle point of this final, it will be the case if Greaves rattles through it without losing 60. a leg. We should give a few notable mentions for other players that performed well this weekend. Kim Holden, certainly one that springs to mind, reaching a final yesterday and a semi-final today. One hundred and forty. Well, readjustment seemed to work for, for Greaves, who gets itself down to sixty-four. Yeah, Kim Holden is one. Rihanna Sullivan is another one. He's also had a good weekend. One hundred and forty. Very good finalist earlier today by Makuru Suzuki. Lorraine Stanley is another one who's had a good good weekend as well. Double four. Game shot. Three zip. And you sense already the right and could be on the wall here. Robin Byrne may have to throw caution to the wind. Burn right on the button at the moment in terms of that match 46. play race. She narrowly missed out last year. She is going to be in ninth place, just lurking behind the likes of Kim Holden and indeed Fallon Sherrick, who's currently seventh 140. on that particular rolling order of merit. 50. Fifty-nine. Yeah, Robin Byrne after today, should the result go the way of Bo Greaves. We'll put Robin Byrne into ninth in that race, I believe, Chris. So 58. Bo, Bo Greaves, you're betting your bottom dollar is going to be heading to Blackpool. That is for certain. You can put the ha your house on that one. Yeah, I think it's already certain, just looking at the amount she's already amassed. If she wins this, she'll be up to £14,300 in just 12 events. 43. Kudo Suzuki's going to be there also. And then the question is, who else will join her? It's whether Lisa Ashton and the like, Fallon Sherrick, can reignite what they used to produce on the women's series. And who would have thought a year and a half ago that we'd be saying we'd be going through these weekends without seeing either of those in a final, let alone both? 180 would have left Sorry, would have left uh, 80, I should say. Robin Byrne would need a 180 to do 32. Well, it's at 120 again. Let's see where the first four lands, and then we might get a bit of bullseye brilliance. Well, never mind that. Single 20 and tops. 40. Double top for 4-0. 80. Well, her burn would love some bullseye brilliance. She needs two 60s first, though. There's one. There's the second. How about the bullseye? Unlucky. 145. Well, they used Game to say shot. about Phil Taylor in his most dominant form, you know, he does give you chances. 161s, 164s, 167s and 170s. And we've just seen an example of that there. And you can see a rueful smile Whoa, across Robin Perkins' face. There's not much he can do. Try and follow that. 99. Bo Greaves. You can see the finish line now. You're all thinking it, weren't you, when she started the, the leg with a 180? 57. There's only one thing she hasn't really achieved at the Women's Series so far. 41. 94. And 94 will leave the 170. Robin Byrne back on 361. So Greaves, 59. Two treble twenties on the bullseye. There's one of them. How about a second? Just underneath. And a look to the heavens. 98. As if to say that second doubt wasn't deserved, Christoph. Is this the last visit for Robin Byrne in what's been a fabulous tournament for her? 96. Acquitted herself very well. 
but only Makuru Suzuki has bettered Bo Greaves once this weekend. And this for another win. Game shot and the match. And the 11th title in the last 12. It, it won't be a perfect dozen, a delightful dozen for Bo Greaves. Makuru Suzuki saw pay to that earlier in the day, but redemption is good. And it's sweet for the Doncaster teenager who takes her third title of the weekend out of four has defeated Robin Byrne in this final in a whitewash by five legs to nil. A superb display of darts from Bo Greaves over this weekend.